Most of the people believe that when we talk about automation, it's only PLC, DCS, SCADA, NHMI, and Max Industrial Network. It is not. The truth is you have to have a few other very important critical skills which are gonna be big help for you to excel in automation career. In this video, we are going to talk about what are these skill set which can really help you. This video is sponsored by Vcon Technologies. Vcon provide integrated products and solutions for automation such as HMI, PLC, server controller, IIoT solutions like VNet and VBox and Inverter. I've interviewed many people during my career so far. I've seen many young, professional, energetic, smart and talented. One major problem I have seen in many people that they are not ready to take a job because they are not clear about the roadmap. A lot of students put a lot of effort but in a wrong direction. They are very hardworking. They are trying to learn the things which are not important or you can say the outdated skills. The major problem here is universities are not telling you what's required in industry. The major reason is most of the instructors and teachers or your professors in universities are not from the industry. That's why they are not aware of what's important for you to learn. They are guiding based on whatever their experience is with the education field. And education and industry, there's a big line between them because technology is rapidly changing. There are new and new technologies coming, especially when we talk about automation field, a lot of new PLCs are coming, a lot of new DCS systems are coming, new SCADA systems are coming, industry is heading towards industrial digitalization when we talk about industry 4.0, even now 5.0. So as a newcomer, you are kind of confused where to go because you're not even aware about these basic terms. So in this video, I will guide you what are the essential skill set apart from PLC, DCS and SCADA and HMI knowledge what are other areas that you should focus on? Number one thing for sure is PLC, DCS and SCADA coding. Apart from it, you should understand using different formulas in Excel. Because Excel is key. Presentation skills, PowerPoint, Word, if in the case you are not aware about these documents, I will bet you, you are going to be in trouble when you start working in automation field. So how much, how much deep knowledge is required? for you to get your first job. You should have a basic understanding, but the main thing is use your mind to solve small, small problems. This is a key. If in the case you get it, and understanding different instructions is not important, the key here for you to success is using your brain to solve smaller, smaller problems. Along with instrumentation knowledge, which is very key for you, if in the case you wanna get into automation, it's very, very important that you should have a knowledge about instrumentation. But is it enough? No. So you have to have a very core understanding how to read different drawings, especially electrical, PNID, and control system drawings, which are really important and that can help you to excel very fast in automation field. As an automation engineer, you need to have a basic IT skills. You need to have a system knowledge. You need to have a networking knowledge. If in the case you can get a chance to go for CCNA course, I would highly recommend you. And now there are a lot of networking involved in automation field as well. Because when we talk about different automation, different automation systems, they are connected through network. There are switches involved, there's a router involved. That's why it's very important for you to understand and learn networking skills. Along with the IT networking, there is another thing, industrial networking, that's also important. You have to understand OPC, you have to understand Modbus, you have to understand MQTT, you have to understand Profibud, you have to understand Fieldbus, you have to understand Profinet, you have to understand Ethernet IP. There are a lot of protocol like CAN bus, which are really important for you to excel in automation field. And another very important and critical skill is understanding process. It's very important, guys. You should have to understand process of industry you're targeting. For instance, if you are looking for a job in oil and gas industry, you should understand what is the process of that industry how the oil and gas industry works. That's one of the skills you can't ignore at all. 
so the process information is critical also and another very important and bonus skill which I'm gonna tell you that you should you should own smaller projects now the question might come from your side from where we will get an information about what are the smaller projects I will tell you the Google is the best friend for you you can go ahead search different mini projects in automation field and start working to create smaller projects another important skill which is very vital for you as per my experience nowadays industry is connecting to internet and cloud because when we talk about industrial digitalization when we talk about the latest latest SCADA systems they are all connected through internet that's why it's important to understand cyber security and when we talk about cybersecurity, it's an OT cybersecurity. This is one of the skill set. If you have a small knowledge even about that skill set, this is one of the highly demanding skill set in automation field nowadays. These are the few areas. If in the case you work, if in the case you focus on these areas, for sure you are going to be successful. With that, I would conclude today's video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like hitting the like button if in the case you haven't subscribed this youtube channel consider subscribing until next video take care and allah hafiz